Welcome to Beach Bags, the ideal way to anchor your houseboat at Lake Powell. Beach bags are intuitive and easy to use, whether you're anchoring on the rocks or in the sand. Developed in cooperation with the National Park Service, Beach Bags help preserve and protect Lake Powell while avoiding the $250 per pin fine for drilling into and pin anchoring on the lake's slick rock shorelines. Deploying beach bags is as easy as flop, fill, and chill. Three to five beach bags will typically be deployed depending on the size and location of your houseboat. Identify where you want to place your beach bag before deploying it. Beach bags come in various sizes, weighing approximately 4,500, 6,500, or 8,500 pounds when filled. Carrying weights for most bags are under 75 pounds. Be sure to team lift. When removing a beach bag from its carrying case, be sure to loosen the straps before sliding the strap loops out of the G-buckle. Beach bags are designed to be used on undulating and sloped surfaces and can be deployed on slopes up to 20 degrees. The bag should be oriented so the snorkel extends outward and down the steepest slope. This is likely the slope that runs to the shoreline closest to your boat. Once the bag is in the proper position, check to make sure it is completely protected by the bridle below. Do not drag the beach bag around on the shoreline when it is heavy and folded. This can damage the bag. Be sure to adjust the bridle's corner straps so they rest on top of the beach bag. They are designed to be a loose fit. Now you're ready to secure the bag snorkel. Position the snorkel upslope by folding over the top of the beach bag. Secure the snorkel clamp to the snorkel by tightly wrapping the material over the inner snorkel tube. Squeeze and pinch the material tightly as you slide the outer snorkel tube into place over the inner tube. Secure the snorkel clamp to the snorkel clamp attachment with the included carabiner. Next, attach the harness to the harness loops using the included soft shackles. Soft shackles are tested to hold 14,000 pounds each and are a high strength, easy to use attachment method. You'll attach the harness to the two loops on the side of the bag facing your houseboat's anchor line attachments. Run the hose to the bag. Connect to the bag's fill port. The hose has an O-ring seal inside the coupler. Be certain this O-ring is in place before connecting the hose to the beach bag. Securely couple the hose to the fill port's nipple by using the hose's cam lock system. Debris such as sand may interfere with the ability of the cam lock to close. Remove any such debris to ensure the system is fastened securely to the fill port. Once secure, turn on the pump to begin filling. Filling will take just a few moments. The specific time will depend on the pump's rating and the size of the bag being filled. Bags can frequently be filled in less than 5 minutes. You'll know the filling is complete once water begins to splash out of the vent port. Once this happens, turn off the pump and decouple the hose by releasing the cam locks and removing it. Finally, attach the appropriate houseboat anchor line to the harness. We recommend a bowline for its strength and easy decoupling. Chill. Deploying beach bags is really that easy. Next, we'd like to show you some options for rigging a bag to your houseboat. There are situations where the downslope or the snorkel side of your beach bag is not the side oriented towards the houseboat's anchor line point of attachment. This is okay. If this situation arises, simply attach the harness or the houseboat's anchor lines to the harness loops facing the houseboat's anchor line point of attachment. If you're using only one beach bag to anchor to the starboard or port side of your houseboat, we recommend attaching both anchor lines from that side of the houseboat to the bag. In this instance, you will not use a harness. Rather, you'll simply tie each anchor line to a harness loop. We recommend using a bullet. Tie off the two harness loops facing the houseboat's anchor line point of attachment. Retrieving your beach bag is even easier than deploying it. Untie your anchor lines. Remove the snorkel clamp. If the snorkel is under a lot of pressure, we recommend first removing the carabiner, extending the snorkel down slope, and then removing the snorkel clamp. Extend the snorkel and drain. If water exiting the snorkel will cause erosion of the sand shoreline, add the snorkel extender so the snorkel will extend to the waterline. As the bag deflates, pull up on the drain assist grip to help water exit the bag more quickly. You'll also want to lift the bag's downslope corners to 
to move water to the center of the bag so it can more easily exit the snorkel. If water remains in the corners, you can open the appropriate release valves located in the corners of the bag to further expedite the draining process. These release valves can also be used to drain the bag if the bag was accidentally filled with the snorkel facing upslope. Be patient and diligent to remove all the water and air from the bag. Residual water adds significant weight and bulk, making it difficult to fold and place the bag in its carrying. Once the bag is empty, it's time to fold it for removal and storage. Fold the bag in sections as illustrated in this video. Be sure to leave the snorkel extended while doing so, as this will help expel remaining air and water. Be sure to allow residual water to exit the bag during the folding process and fold in thirds as you move towards the snorkel. Fold the snorkel. Lift the folded beach bag and place it on the carrying case. Be sure to orient it correctly as there are both long and short sides. Secure the bag in its carrying case by using the G-buckles. Attach the long sides first. Secure the web loops to the G-buckles by sliding them in place. Then cinch to tighten. Make sure they are snug and tight is this will help the bag fit properly in the case and make it easier to carry. Repeat this process for the short sides. Slide the snorkel clamp into the case's pocket. Accessories like the soft shackles and harness can be placed here too. Team lift the bag and return to the houseboat.